I'm just about to walk you through a 7650 DIY uh, ceramic type coating kit. I say ceramic type because this is quartz ceramic. I'll explain more in a second. Okay, I'm now going to decant what we have here and explain afterwards what each of the items are for. So here we have Biosativa. That's the first thing that we're going to be applying to the car. This is our bio-based uh, cleaner. It removes all the surface film general soiling from the car. Here is isopropyl alcohol. You have a litre there. That's probably slightly more than you'll need, but it's just better to have more than, uh, than not enough. We have windscreen wipes. That will last you for one year for your windscreen. We've had a ball, 100 wipes here. You won't need all of these for the first application, but better to have more than not enough. A microfiber, the magic liquid. That's our 7650 uh, quartz coating. Some instructions. An application pad. I'll show you about that in a second. Application wipes and plenty of gloves. It's DIY coating for two reasons. Firstly, it has very low odour. Also, it's very, very easy to apply and buff, and the, the time constraints are minimal. So, how does this all come together to work for you? Well, the first thing that we have to do is we have to clean the car. So we use the, uh, the Biosativa, and we're going to mix that uh, to a ratio of about one to 15. That's to get all the heavy soiling off the, off the car. Now, I stress this is not to remove previous coatings. If there are other coatings in place, then you're going to have to use a, either a silicone remover, if it's a wax type or a silicone uh, layer, a clay bar, or specialist uh, cleaning solutions to remove previous coatings. We're assuming that the, the car has either one of our coatings on or it is uh, free from any coatings. So we're gonna wash the car down with this, thoroughly washing it. You can use any cloth you like, a brush, whatever. Then you're going to rinse the car. So we wash and rinse with Biosativa. That can go into, that's completely bio-based, won't do any harm to the environment. So when the car's washed, we then wipe the surface with the ethanol. So we've got plenty of cloths here, so you fully moisten the cloths with, uh, with the ethanol or isopropyl alcohol to be exact. Wipe that over the surface. That will also latch onto any water droplets that are available. And it also makes the paint, it's like nearly like a primer to make the, the coating uh, more readily absorbed onto the surface. So we wipe down and then we buff the surface. So you can use this microfiber or you can use another cloth or tissues or these, but after you've wiped it with isopropyl alcohol, we're then going to buff the surface. Okay, so the car is ready. Now, it's so important to have a completely, completely clean surface. I can't stress that highly enough. So the surface is completely clean and ready for the application. So we have application wipes like this microfiber type. We have an application sponge. We put the application wipe onto the sponge so you can hold it like this and we apply the 7650 coating on to this surface here you don't want it dripping wet you just want it fully moist this coating we will do it in this action several wiping actions across to make it bed in so it's not just a once over, it's one, two, three, four for a specific area. I would do a panel at a time, similar to the other coatings, but we're not in such a rush. So let's say it takes me three minutes to do a bonnet. I don't have to suddenly rush and then do the buffing. You can wait two or three minutes, but you start the buffing after approximately five minutes. That's about an optimum time in, in pleasant weather. If it's in the middle of winter, you can take it a little longer. If it's in the, in the Far East and it's super, super hot, then do it within three or four minutes. 
So, how do we buff? This is a DIY application, uh, and it's designed for people to be able to use simply a microfiber. So, the coating's in place, we take a microfiber and we buff, and we buff. Not, you don't have to go crazy like that, that's probably sufficient, you'll see it brightening up, you'll get a beautiful shiny surface. You buff until you feel happy with the surface. You can use a pad if you like, an automated pad, and you can buff as well. Uh, not every DIY person has, uh, has those available. Microfiber is sufficient. Um, buff, don't over buff, buff to, to you feel happy with the surface. We don't need to do it like that. It's not necessary. Just buff like that, and you'll see it becomes really shiny, really intensifies the color of the car. So we buff the bonnet, we finish with that, we move on to the next panel and so on until the whole, whole car is done. So let's say it's taken an hour to, 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 to uh, complete the car, maybe less, but we'll say it's an hour. Can I drive the car after one hour? Not really. How long should I wait? You should wait for about three to seven hours before you drive it outside. Um, you could do it a little early if you needed to, but we would recommend you do it, wait three to seven hours, ideally wait overnight. You can move it out into the sun. The sun will have a good effect on curing the, the, the coating. Three to seven hours. Now, shh, what about driving in the rain? Yes, you can drive in the rain after seven hours, but again, if you can avoid it, it's even better. The next day would be ideal. Uh, people often ask, how long is it take, does it take to, to be fully cured? Well, seven days before you give it real, before you put it in a car wash or anything like that. Another question is, can I put it on the windscreen? Technically you can, but we feel as though you're far better off using the dedicated windscreen wipes. Final question, how much does it cover? So this 100ml bottle is designed to do a very large SUV, even larger than, a, than something like a Range Rover, very large American SUV, or two small cars. So it will easily do two minis, for example. So there's plenty of liquid in, in there. Um, just to recap, these coatings can be used by anybody who's got a modicum of skill and who can apply and wax a car. It's the same process but you will be amazed by the performance. Absolutely outstanding. How long will it last? It lasts approximately three years. Now, if you do a perfect job in uh, cleaning and pre preparing the car surface, then it will easily last three years. If you don't do such a good job in preparing the surface, probably 18 months to two years. Still excellent performance, uh, but the, the main characteristic is the ease of application and the outstanding finish that you're going to achieve. Thank you.